We actually just got one question in online from Salman, um, Sarah Goldberg Hannaford. She wants to know why if, um, why if Amalek was so evil, why didn't Hashem wipe him out right away? Why did he let him continue and stay on in the world? So ask a better question, why did he create them in the beginning? They should have created them. Why yeah. Create them and wipe them out? So the Amalek, the bad people, don't create bad people. Uh, Rabbi Min said before that they weren't created evil. There's no such thing as someone who's created evil. Oh, you mean uh, if they get evil later, they should have wiped If they them came, out. right. The reason why they're created is for our sake. The reason that God doesn't wipe them for our sake, God tells us, you, Simcha Zech HaMolek, you have to wipe out the remnants of HaMolek. It's up to us to realize what Amalek is, what the challenge is, and the bad that they spread around that we have to cope with and be able to stand up and be able to overpower the evil in the world. So God created evil in the world and doesn't destroy evil because he wants evil in the world for us to have challenges and for us to grow from it, for us to uh, be able to get the, reap the benefits of our challenges that we overcome. So you, the question could be, well, if there's evil in the world, get rid of the evil. Why, only a Molek? Only we'll get rid of it. The answer is because evil in the world is necessary for us to be able to be challenged by it and grow from it. If we have no challenges, we can't grow. So a Molek, by the way, a Molek is not doomed. A Molek, if they accept the seven Noah laws, so they are considered tzaddikim. They're considered righteous people. They don't have, they're not doomed to, to death. The ones who are, are, are shoyim, the ones who are wicked, they have to destroy. But uh, any Amalek uh, who keeps this in seven, in seven, the seven no, no, the same simple the decency, he's considered tzaddik, and you get you know, there's no mitzvah to destroy. So, uh, but the ones who are not keeping that, it's up to us to uh, realize the challenge that they're causing, the wicked that they're spreading around, uh, that's up, up to us to take care of Not God doesn't uh, want to do the job for us. It's our job, not his job. He gave the job to us to stand up to it and do what we have. We have to get rid of the evil, not God. That's our job. Good question.